Hello RIS fans and welcome to a sp another special edition of uh, Recruits and Suits. Well, not really. It's a mod installation tutorial, unlike the PC one. Hopefully this one will uh, record and render properly. Um, except this is for Mac. So, um, until recently um, it's been quite a process to uh, install um, Minecraft mods on ma the Mac because it's you have to use terminal and so not all users are familiar with that and um, hopefully um, people will find this uh, useful so you're gonna need to download a tool called the Minecraft jar tool and I'll put a link in the des description and basically what this allows you to do is back up your Minecraft jar um, and then open it and it'll put all the files, all the class files and all the code that's uh, within Minecraft into a folder on your desktop and then you can put your mod files in there and then you can recompile the jar. So it's a pretty useful tool. Um, so. We're going to be installing the planes mod, version 9, and we're going to be doing both the server, actually, yeah, client and server. So, we're going to scroll down, you can find the link to this page in the description as well, and all the way down past our uh, mod spotlight video, and down here you'll see, um, install files and all this. So this is for the client and then this is for the server. So what you want to get uh, what you're going to want to do is go to or open um all of these links. Um so I have them open here. You only have to actually open four because the audio mod, which is optional, is the same is on the same page as the mod loader. So I have those open already. Or she maybe not all of them. Uh, sure. Um so you're going to want to download uh, the planes mod itself, which I've already downloaded them. And then on the uh, on this thread, you're going to want to scroll down and you're going to want to get model or turbo model thingy 2.2 preview. Don't download any of these, it won't work. You have to get the 2.2 preview. And for SDK's guns mod, you're gonna have to scroll down here to the download section and get this one here from Mediafire because you don't have to go through annoying ads. And um, also get the server one um, so you don't have to go back. And then to get mod loader, you scroll down the mods download this one or grass fix if you wish um, and then scroll down even further and get the audio mod. Um, what's annoying about these links is that it takes you to um, a website where there's ads and uh, recently they've had ads that take you off the page so you have to go like back a few and then try again until you get um, something that doesn't redirect you from the thing. So just, yeah. Um, and I th think that's all of them. Yeah. So then we're gonna close this and um, we're gonna wanna open the Minecraft jar tool and you're going to want back up and then open so mc temp is created on the desktop and then i have all the client uh, mod files here and then i'm just going to want to 
copy all the class files from each one and simply paste it in here. Really quite easy. And if you have to replace any files, do that. the plane, I'll do the planes last. And I think there's the audio mod somewhere here. Maybe I didn't get it. Doesn't matter. Now it's simply just the same thing, copying them in. And then for the planes mod, you're going to want to go into the jar files and copy the ones that are in that subfolder. And paste that in place. So now we can go here to the um, jar tool and recompile. And that's done and it deletes the MC temp. So we're going to want to leave this window open and open a new window oh, this one. in Finder. And go to your username and then uh, library, application support, and find Minecraft. Now, in here are all the actual uh, game files of Minecraft. So, within the bin is the jars and the actual program. And then here you have saves, your texture packs, and your resources. These are all just sounds, so you're going to want to put the mod folder sounds in there. And you also need the .txt and the .properties, otherwise it will not work. So let's try it out. And it worked. So uh, let's create a new world. Actually, hmm. I can't really show you that it worked without getting a, a mod so I can spawn items, but uh, if it didn't crash, it basically means that it worked. Um, yeah, so same as always, except you can craft planes and fly them. So now we're going to use the same jar tool and sort of uh, cheat our uh, way into using it. So we're going to take our modded minecraft.jar in the, that's in the bin folder and rename it to um, client. Then we're going to take our um, minecraft underscore server jar, which you download from the minecraft download page. It's just at the bottom. You cannot use the exe, it has to be the jar. And then, so you go to the server. Oh, sorry. Um, you're going to take this, paste it in here, and rename it to, oops, to minecraft.jar. And that will make um, the Minecraft jar tool think that's the that's the game one. So back up, sure, open, MC temp, and see. Oh dear. Actually, I'm not. I haven't actually tried this method for the server, but it should. Yeah, I did. That see, there's less folders if you were to look, uh, if you were to compare it to the other one. So we're gonna take our um, SDK mods loader, copy all of these into MC temp, replace yes, and then put the planes again, only the jar file ones. Paste those in here. 
and then um, when you run the server you need the dot properties and the dot txt in there so there we go for that and close mc temp open up jar tool recompile and it looks like it worked so we can rename this again Error. replace the old one and oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Jar. so there you have a modded server jar and a minecraft jar so that's all you have to do and it's pretty simple and fast with this jar tool so it's really um because otherwise with the terminal it took a lot lot longer and it was more complicated so um hopefully you enjoyed this uh subscribe and uh tomorrow we're coming out with a new recruits and suits episode so check that out and also check out our uh video spotlight for the mod so see you next time guys